Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby at Walgreens of all places. What are we doing? Well, the other day I was walking through Walgreens and I'm like, there's a lot of produce, there's a lot of frozen items, there's a lot of food here that I had no idea existed. So is it possible to do your primary shopping here at Walgreens and get healthy grocery items? So let's go in there and do a shop around because I'm optimistic we might find some good stuff, but hey, it is like a convenience store after all, so you never know. Before we get in there, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff with the two most important things, bell icon is right below the video. Enable all notifications because every week we're going live with four videos and every Tuesday is the new Flav City Shopping Experience podcast. So subscribe to our podcast in the description box are the links on all platforms. It's a great time. Now, let's go in. Let's not get kicked out and see what we can shop for at Walgreens. Let's start at the snack aisle here, which actually at first glance isn't too bad. And why don't we start at the beef jerky, which normally is really tricky because they use low quality beef filler and a lot of sugar. But so just give me an example. Here's Jack Link's, right? Jack Link's is a popular brand. It's been around forever. It's not grass fed beef, which to me is a bummer. And we look at the ingredients here. Sugar is the second ingredient, natural and artificial flavorings, and each serving has seven grams of added sugar. That's almost two teaspoons of sugar, you guys. But luckily, out of the corner of my eye here, I spy the two best ones they have here. It's Country Archer and Larissa's Kitchen. Now, see how that is a huge sign right there saying 100% grass-fed beef? That's what you want to see, right? It's got to say 100% grass-fed or grass-fed, grass-finished. Otherwise, it isn't. So we look at the ingredients here. And by the way, this isn't really jerky. This is like beef strips. They're kind of soft and chewy. I've had that before. It's pretty good. I don't love the fact they're using sugar here, but the rest of the ingredients are not too bad except for natural flavors here. But they don't have any nasty oils in here. It does have six grams of added sugar, which isn't ideal. But if this was a sugar-free one, it'd be best in class. But they don't make it for Larissa's. But here at Walmart, this is probably one of the better ones you can get. And this brand I love, Country Archer. They recently took them away from my local Costco and I literally had a crying fit in Costco. But what's great about these? Also 100% grass-fed beef. It's interesting because the ones at Costco did not have sugar and these have some brown sugar. But it's really clean. And you know what I like about this? They don't have natural flavor. They have natural hickory smoke flavor, which isn't the same as regular natural flavor. It has pretty much the same amount of sugar as Larissa's, but there's not as much nasty stuff in here. So I would go for this one here. Of all the jerkies and all the land here at Walgreens, I like Country Archer. And their turkey is not 100% grass fed. You're never gonna find that for a turkey. There's no such thing. It would have to be non-GMO or pasture raised. It's not, but at least it's no antibiotics or hormones ever added. And it's clean. Right, it's pretty much the same profile as the beef. So either one of these would be perfect. I do love the fact that if you can find the sugar-free ones, that's even better. And a lot of people like Duke's shorty sausages. The problem is they have a bunch of suspect ingredients here. I've talked about this before. Yeast extract, which is another word for MSG. It makes your brain and your taste buds light up. Caramel coloring just on the casing. That's a known carcinogen, you guys. That is a major no-no. And natural flavors. So I would always go for Country Archer over Duke's, it's just way better. This is so interesting, you guys. We have a couple options of popcorn here. And I always tell you guys not to get skinny pop because even though it's non-GMO popcorn, which is really, really important, they always use the cruddiest oil here, sunflower oil. It's highly processed and highly refined. Even if it were organic, which they do have some varieties, it has to say expeller pressed. If you don't see expeller pressed, forget about it. So how excited was I a second ago to pick up the Walmart brand, nice organic sea salt popcorn here. Take that, Skinny Pop, Expeller Organic Press Sunflower Oil. It's Expeller and organic. Now listen, Expeller is the better for you oil you're gonna see with processed foods, but still, you don't wanna cook with that at home, but it's very common for processed uh, middle shelf or middle aisle ingredients. So good job, 349 for this versus Oh my God, look at this, $3.99 for the Skinny Pop. Nice brand for the win, holy cow. Art and I have seen this before at Target, but you know what? If you're a Cheetos fanatic and you love Chester Cheetah, these new Simply Cheetos and Simply Doritos are not terrible for you. They're way better because it's organic, so it's non-GMO. They're using Expeller Pressed Sunflower Oil. 
they do, they do use maltodextrin, which is not ideal. They use natural flavors. But guys, compare the ingredients to the traditional Chester Cheetah, way, way better. So wow, Simply and Simply Doritos too. When Art and I saw Simply Doritos, we were blown away. If you want a drink that's bubbly and sparkling, you gotta be careful because guys, these are like scary, like diabetes level amounts of sugar here. This Arizona iced tea in a eight ounce serving has 23 grams of sugar. That's only six teaspoons of sugar in there. I would just go straight down here. This is one of the better brands of uh, kombucha, GT. And the reason why it's better is because they don't add too much sugar here. An eight ounce serving has six grams. It's organic and it actually has probiotic live bacteria that are really good for your gut. This is good for your gut. This stuff is sugar laden and actually kills gut bacteria. So stay away from that. I was hoping they'd have more yogurt and dairy here, but they really don't. These options are just not good because it's not organic and it's not grass fed. And even though it's Greek style, you guys, when you add sugar to Greek yogurt, you cancel out the probiotic bacteria. So this one has seven grams of sugar. This is a major no-no. It also has food starch, GMO corn starch, fake sugar sucralose. Chobani's a little better because it's non-GMO, but they add the sugar, which cancels out the uh, probiotics frozen food look at this this is actually a treat because they have amy's if you watched our frozen food review amy's you guys is best in class with pretty much anything she does because first of all it's all organic so every ingredient here organic which is really nice no filler she always puts real ingredients in there she has organic extra virgin olive oil she has it's just a little bit of high oleic so when you say high oleic that means it's a heart healthier fatty acid profile but you want to see expeller press so not ideal but still this is still really nice but let's check out the uh, enchilada here this is organic enchiladas and you'd expect it to have a lot of filler and stuff look no everything's organic she's using what kind of oil here here we go so this is look expeller pressed high oleic safflower that's what you want to see in pre-made food so wow she's doing it right and I've checked this before, but her burritos, Amy's burritos, are really, really good. It's probably the only frozen burrito I would uh, recommend because the ingredients are just as good as the frozen meals. Art's a bit disappointed. Art, you may not know, is a 40-ounce malt liquor <laughs> fan, right? But no. what, do they, what do they have here, Art? 25 ounces. 20, no, we joke all the time, but if you were a 40 fan, what would be your 40 of choice? I don't know. Come on, you know what it is. It's Mickey's, Mickey, you guys. He's, he's, playing, he's playing coy. All right, of all the ice creams here at Walmart, or Walgreens, I should say, I'm actually happy they have Halo Top. This is the best in class they have here. Not ideal still, but man, $6.29, they're charging you a pretty penny. What's going on here? This is supposed to be full. It's like half empty, weird. So it is a like a high protein, lower fat ice cream. We talked about this in the ice cream review video. It is pretty good because they're using erythritol instead of sugar. Every single one of them does have natural flavor, which is a bummer. They also use stevia, but I love the macronutrient information here. Look, two grams of fat, and there's four servings. That's eight grams of fat in the entire container, and there's only six grams of sugar per serving. Most ice creams have 18 to 20. So if you're at Walmart, Walgreens, I'm sorry, this is your best in class choice. I keep saying Walmart because we just came from there literally five minutes ago. All right, that's it for the end caps. Let's go to the middle aisles and see what we can find. All right, I don't see anything in the water aisle. It's all juices and sugar and stuff I wouldn't drink. I, I keep getting requests for juice review video. You guys, all these are highly pasteurized uh, fruit juice products that are basically sugar water at that point. Might have a little bit of vitamin C or something, but this is crud. All right, if you see an Arnold Palmer, you have to do the Arnold Palmer alert, Arnold Palmer alert. <laughs> Who wants some Arnie Palmer? <laughs> All right, this is interesting. Now we have a bunch of options for kind of snack bars or protein bars. And I see they only have one choice here, but this is probably one of your best choices. Epic makes a fantastic uh, beef product, chicken, turkey. It's 100% grass fed beef, not too much sodium. This is great, way better than Jack Links or anything like that. And then they have my favorite bar here. I love Lara Bar because it's really just what it says on the package. This is blueberry muffin. It's five ingredients. There's no filler here. They make it so hard to read this stuff. It's just, uh, look at that. Dates, apples, blueberries, and vanilla extract. Not natural, 
flavors real vanilla extract. And people sometimes get scared off by the fact that it has 17 grams of sugar. It's 100% natural. I'd rather have that than fake sugar. So Lara Bar is always one of the best in classes. They have something here called Protein Cake Bites by On Fitness. This is so misleading. This should not be a health item here, you guys. Look at these ingredients. This, they make it so hard to see this, and I think they do that for a reason. All right, I finally ripped it open. Look at this, you guys. We got maltitol there, which is gonna make you poop your pants. It's a horrible fake sugar. Palm oil here. We have yellow number five, red number three, blue number one. What is this, the lottery? No, this is horrible, horrible stuff for you. Tons of filler. And then we also see a little bit of sucralose, fake sugar here. Guys, this is a devastating thing for your health, for your gut. My God, I would not eat that. Oh, I thought it was gonna even have mal mambo number five. <laughs> mambo, yeah, I, I wouldn't surprise me at that point. A lot of people, I gotta talk about this in the protein bar review video. People love Quest because it's low carb. I just don't think it's anything special and I'll save the gist of this for that video, but I think they're all making this packaging impossible so we don't see their cruddy ingredients, but they have palm oil. Guys, palm oil is bad for us and bad for the environment. It's such a cheap oil. You can't even buy it at the grocery store to cook with. So why are they putting it in here? Because it's cheap. Natural flavorings here. That's really the only terrible stuff here, but cheap ingredients for a premium product. Quest is pretty premium, so I'll talk more about that in the protein bar video. Uh, Cliff Bar has natural flavors and palm fruit oil. Think and think thin is nothing special. So I would stick with the Lara Bar and the Epic Bar. And that's about it for snack bars here in the uh, aisle here at Walgreens. What about a Jimmy Bar? Jimmy, Jimmy let's see. Jimmy, wake and focus cookies and cream. Caffeine and omega-3 and MCT. So this is interesting. Let's see what the deal. Four added sugars. That's really low. Hold on. This could be... Art might have spiked... Er, er, spied something pretty interesting here. Okay. <sighs> Even Art can see that before me. Palm oil. Maltitol. Don't stray too far from the bathroom. More palm oil. You guys, man, look at MCT oil like the last thing here. Palm oil city. You guys, Jimmy, don't touch Jimmy. Get, Get your hands off Jimmy. <laughs> I take a look down here. I mean, the price is outrageous, but they do have extra virgin olive oil for $7. If you're in a pinch and you want something to cook with, this is way better than canola oil. Highly toxic, highly refined, highly inflammatory too. We talk about that in the oils video. So I would get this in a pinch if you're making some like spaghetti and meatballs, you need some olive oil. And they have some sweeteners here. Oh, here. You know what, be careful. When you see like stevia in the raw and truvia in the raw, read the ingredients, you guys. Yeah, sure, they put stevia, but it's after erythritol, so a little misleading. But natural flavors? Why are you putting that in a sweetener? Stevia in the raw? I'll bet it's the same thing, let's see. I mean, it's, yeah, so this is actually not as bad, but the first ingredient is dextrose, which is a derivation of sugar, then stevia. So that's still misleading. I would buy pure stevia, but if you have to choose one, this one over the natural flavors Truvia one any day. They have a couple options for tuna, and I've been talking about this more recently. When you have the choice between salad white albacore or chunk light, which one do you want to choose? Chunk light, because we're all about mercury here, right? Albacore are really big tuna, high in mercury. Chunk light are made from tuna that are smaller. So scoop this one, it's way less mercury. And 149 is not a bad choice, but you're not going to find any mayonnaise here to use with it because all this mayonnaise here is garbage. What I mean by garbage? Well, this looks like the fancy Heinz mayo here. Oh God, can I even see this? It's made with soybean oil, which is GMO. Tons of filler. EDTA is a nasty preservative that covers up the rancid smell of fat. And this is just a really cruddy one. You want to get like avocado oil one, but they don't have that here. But next to it, ooh, I'm so happy they have these Amy soups here. Look at this. Any, most any Amy soup is going to feel fantastic. Number one, it's organic. Number two, this one's light in sodium, which is nice, but this is what you want to see. Look at these ingredients, Art. It's all real ingredients. There's no filler in here. Organic extra virgin olive oil? Are you kidding me? Like that's really, really good stuff. And the same is true for any of these. They all have really good ingredients, so always get that over the traditional Campbell's. Uh, this is a premium one here. This is, well, yes. Let's see the ingredients here, Art. 
it was about to be so good and they put carrageenan in there which is that nasty seaweed emulsifier that wreaks havoc on your gut but i have noticed this well yes brand is better so if you had to choose between that and traditional campbell's get the well yes for sure we should also make a video one day of walking around the store and having art recite the jingles because art knows just about every jingle to every almost, almost. food brand especially the 80s and 90s he is very very good at that now i want to go back to this aisle that we had to leave a minute ago the nuts right you might think all nuts are good because they're a good source of protein and a good source of fat but you got to be careful because anytime you start going to the flavored nuts like honey roasted first of all this is honey roasted nuts there's no honey in there they're using sugar and guys, they're toasting the nuts in cottonseed oil. When you see cotton oil, cottonseed oil, put this back immediately. That's a terrible. Cottonseed oil is one of the most highly processed agricultural oils. They use so many chemicals to extract the oil from cottonseed. So put that away. And then I thought if we pick up the whole cashews here, they'd be better. But look at this. They're actually toasted in cottonseed oil once again. Or canola oil. It's like pick your poison. Which one do you want? And even if you go to a good brand like oven roasted blue diamond almonds with sea salt, these are going to be roasted, right? So what are they doing here? And maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is a GMO food preservative made from corn and it spikes your blood sugar. So if you are, have diabetes or you want to keep your blood sugars in check, never eat maltodextrin because it's high on the GI. So you basically have to go to whole almonds that are raw because it's one ingredient here, right? It's almonds so that's nice but be careful because any of these ones that are toasted or cooked or flavored it's really bad even a brand like like pistachios like it's super premium brand there's the chili roasted pistachios which are dangerous once you start to shell pistachios you can eat a million of them sunflower oil it's not expeller pressed and they put yeast extract and natural flavors like really bad news just go for the regular one I like to actually work for my food. I like to crack it out of the shell. So I would get these here. They're just really expensive here. I would get them at Costco. And then here's some crackers here. I mean, all these are pretty much a no-go, but if you have to choose one, these guys here, Crunch Master Multi-Seed. I know Art likes that name. These are probably the healthiest option here, but I remember seeing these from the snack video we did. So it's brown rice flour, good. Quinoa, good. Safflower oil, not good and maltodextrin not good so this is like dr jekyll and mr hyde some good some bad but to be honest if you're going to get something here cracker form at walgreens this is probably your best option and then down here i like how they put the healthiest stuff like down where no one wants to see it here's the healthiest snack you can give yourself your kids this is just dehydrated apple chips they're expensive when you figure out the price per pound but look apples and cinnamon that's it and look they're on sale right now so i would scoop these it's crunchy it's sweet naturally and there's nothing added to it in my opinion all of the peanut and nut butters here are a no-go because obviously you know the stuff like skippy right that's low quality as can be because it has a ton of filler in there right we have hydrogenated vegetable oil including cotton seed so that's how they keep it no stir but that's devastating to your health but even something like justin's you might think that's a good quality brand and it's 13.99 oh my gosh that's crazy especially when you take into account that to pick this one up the ingredients have palm oil guys when you see palm oil like that they're doing that because it's cheap as can be and the only good palm oil you could ever find is called red palm oil that's actually high quality good for your body and sustainably sourced when you find the palm oil they use at the grocery store it's so bad for the environment because they deforest it and it's so bad for you because it's cheap and it's really bad for your health why do they do it kevin o'leary shark tank money bad stuff avoid all nut butters with palm oil just nuts and salt that's it oh my gosh i love the fact they're keeping the energy drinks behind the plastic here that should be red flag number one let me see if I can get one here. So five hour energy. I would never want you to put this in your body because I mean, the energy part is from what? Vitamins and vitamins niacin, the energy. B B12, vitamin B12 will. What? Yeah. But what are the other ingredients, my friends? Natural and artificial flavors. Sucralose, another word for Splenda, a chemically man-made sugar that actually makes your brain crave more sweetness and more sugary things potassium sorbate 
a preservative you normally see in lunch meat, sodium benzoate, a horrible preservative, and EDTA, another preservative to cover up smelly odors that are going bad. Oh my gosh, I would never ever want you guys to drink that. That is horrible stuff. And I guess everything is true for all these ones over here. You know what, let's look at the other one here. Here, all right, hold that for a second. I, see, I keep seeing this one, especially at Walmart. Fordo, Fordo coffee shot here, organic. Organic with Hershey's chocolate. Okay, yeah, right, dude, give me a break. Ingredients, Fordo cold brew coffee, organic coffee extract, organic whole milk, organic cane sugar, natural flavor, organic caffeine, and baking soda. You know what, not as bad as I thought. Seven grams of sugar. Huh, you know what, this is way better than like a Frappuccino. So you know what, I take it back, it's not terrible. So, huh, I still wouldn't take it, but sometimes you get surprised. You may experience a niacin flush when you drink this. I don't even know what a niacin flush is. That is hot feeling and skin, red, skin redness. I, skin uh, redness. Okay. That, <laughs> get it. All right, Art just point out the white claw. Why is this stuff so popular? People are going gaga over this. I think it's made by Sam's Brewing Company. What's, so what is this? This is hard seltzer with flavors. Oh, interesting. Let's see the ingredients are. It's gluten-free. It's gluten-free, so it has that going. So here we go. Natural lime ingredients. Okay, alcohol, natural flavors, cane sugar, and concentrate. So they're using natural flavors, which is not a shocker, right? It's the same kind of thing. Where's natural with. flavor? Um, natural flavors. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing as a, as a LaCroix, right? They're using natural flavors. It only has two grams of sugar. So if you don't mind actual uh, natural flavors, this isn't too bad for you. So I, I guess I see why it's so popular, right? Art's more of a rosé guy. Rosé all day. <laughs> all right, we have some interesting coffee options here. And we did the whole coffee review video, so I would check it out after this. But if you're going to buy coffee, you want to know where it comes from. Because when you get blends, it could be a blend of substandard beans, especially when you start going to like Dunkin' Donuts. I know the flavor's good, but they tend to use inferior beans that are either immature or old and moldy and over-roasted. When you over-roast something, you can cover up the imperfections, which is why I would always buy single origin because you know exactly where it comes from. This is from Sumatra. This is not whole bean, it's ground, meaning as soon as you open this, you have to drink it within a week to 10 days. Otherwise the flavor goes really downhill. But the other ones are blends. They don't tell you where they're from. And I would avoid the K-cups. We talked about these. These have aluminum and plastic. Imagine hot water going through that. You know that stuff's gonna leach into the water. We have other ones here. And by the way, with tea, I wanna make a video about that. But when flavored teas are present, make sure there's no natural flavors. I was very happy to see this pure leaf tea and peppermint leaves. No natural flavors and you wanna buy loose leaf tea, whole leaf tea, not the kind of bags where it's like the powder. I consider this like the bottom of the barrel. Like imagine they're sweeping the floor of the tea plant. This is the stuff they put in the bags. It's so fine and crushed up. You always wanna get the one where it's the loose leaf. That's the higher quality tea leaves, but look out for natural flavors because anytime you start to go flavored, they're almost always gonna have some of the natural flavors there. Okay, Flair City family, that is it. It's freezing outside. My hands are shaking, are shaking. Some pretty cool options there, right? You have to know how to shop it. Once again, it's not a big grocery store, but if you know how to shop Walgreens and read the ingredients, you can find some pretty good stuff. So that is it, you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share. These videos are a ton of work to make, and guess what? We shoot all day long. We're gonna finish here, do our traditional Chipotle lunch, and then go straight to Whole Foods. Uh, so we got two more videos going below us right now. We almost get run over in some videos too, but Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, we say unto you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. There's a fire too, let's get the heck out of here. <laughs>